Hello everyone. Uh, this week we are talking about books um, about kids that are playing well together. Um, and this is kind of fitting for this week because I have a new kitten and my other cat does not like her. So it's kind of funny that we're doing this this week. Also, I'm in the process of moving out. So that's why all my bookshelves are gone. But uh, yeah, so this week we're doing uh, books about kids getting along and playing well together. So I immediately thought of the book that I'm reading today um, just because it's so funny. And it's also a different type of um, book about kids playing funny. You know, it doesn't get too much heavy into like the lesson part of it. You know, it doesn't hit kids over the head with it. But it's also really nice for them to read the story and understand that Yes, we do need to be nice to each other and we do need to play nice with each other. Um, so this is We Don't Eat Our Classmates by Ryan T. Higgins. Penelope Rex was nervous. It's not every day that a little T-Rex starts school. Again, apologies for my new cat. She has a lot of cat toys in here. What are my class looks going to be like? Will they be nice? How many teeth will they have? This was very important. Penelope's mom bought her a new backpack with ponies on it. Ponies were Penelope's favorite because ponies are delicious. Penelope's dad packed her a lunch of 300 tuna sandwiches and one apple juice. Finally, the big day came and Penelope Rex was very surprised to find that all of her classmates were children so she ate them because children are delicious penelope rex said mrs noodle man we don't eat our classmates please spit them out at once so she did it was not the best way to start school still penelope was determined to have a good first day she tried hard to make friends at recess she finger painted some of her best work. She even saved Griffin Emery a seat at lunch. You can sit here. Oh, look, see, she's pointing at her plate. Penelope started to notice that everyone was making friends but her. It was lonely. When she got home, her dad asked her about her first day of school. I didn't make any friends, Penelope cried. None of the children wanted to play with me. Penelope Rex, her father asked, did you eat your classmates? Well, maybe sort of, just a little bit. Sometimes it's hard to make friends, said her dad, especially if you eat them. You see, Penelope, children are the same as us on the inside, just tastier. That gave Penelope a lot to think about. The next day, Penelope tried really hard, but poor Penelope, she could not stop herself from eating her classmates. Mrs. Noodleman, Penelope ate William Amato again, and they were all afraid of her. Except Walter. Walter was a goldfish, so Penelope tried to make friends with him. Will you be my friend? Chomp! Uh-oh. cried Penelope. He's eating my finger! Woo! Once Penelope found out what it's like to be someone's snack, she lost her appetite for children. Oh, look at her with her big eyes and her little bruised finger. She stopped eating her classmates even when Cece Woodman spilled barbecue, sal barbecue sauce all over herself. And soon, Penelope made friends. Found you! Want to brownie? I helped make them. Now, when children look especially delicious, she peeks at Walter and remember what it's like when someone tries to eat you. And Walter, the goldfish, stares right back at her and licks his lips. <laughs> because dinosaurs are delicious. So that is We Don't Eat Our Classmates. And I think that's a very sweet story, kind of funny and unusual to tell kids, just to uh, show kids how to get along with each other and 
think about what are their actions doing to someone and how if they were doing that to someone else, how would it make them feel? Um, so yeah, thanks for listening.